quite the same effect, but I guess that's what they were going for there. Back like we never left, BDA, and listen, this kind of tied everything up, and we, they explained a lot of things. So, first let me address the fact that this is super late, and it's, it's not a review, it's just a discussion. We're discussing the chapter, and the reason for me not putting out the review earlier or Monday I just had a lot going on at the time. I probably should have tweeted something out or whatever, but I had a lot going on and I just didn't have the time and I didn't feel like rushing it. I did do a live reaction. I may just put it up and have it playing in the background or just the visual, whatever, but it, I just didn't want to rush it. So I just felt like I just have a discussion later after reading it numerous times. It's time. It's time to do, 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 do. Natsu, Sting, Rogue, Wendy, got Jill. They're from the past, actually, and they got warped into the future. Uh, Celestial Mage Anna um, opened the eclipse and now they're in the present time. It's so many things. Who the hell is Anna? They did it to kind of oppose Acnologia, so the dragons traveled within them to do that. And I guess it all makes sense now because of the whole thing with the dragon being inside them and Sting and Rogue thinking that they killed their parents, all this different stuff. But it made sense because all these guys felt that their parents disappeared at around the same time when in actuality they all just traveled at the same time. It's one of those things where I like it and it makes sense, but then it's like, eh, I don't know. What I mean by that is the fact that Natsu is gonna die or supposedly die if Zerf gets killed, which I don't see happening at all. At the end of Fairy Tale, I don't expect Natsu to die. I expect them to find a way, maybe a sacrificial lamb, where Natsu becomes an actual human because Natsu dying as a result of killing Zeref, I don't know. It just doesn't feel, you know, the same as far as fairy tale is concerned. It doesn't feel like it would fit into the story, especially with the whole Natsu and Grey thing going on. So I feel like they have to eradicate Zeref, and then even after Natsu, you know, becomes human, Grey is still going to view him as E and D. Grey is still going to have those feelings because Grey is kind of like succumbing to the dark side. Right now he's in control, but I feel like Grey has that, he has that inside him. Like, you know, um, uh, in Harry Potter, when you have the, the Gryffindor, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff, those different things, Grey would definitely be in Slytherin, okay? Because he has that inside him. Maybe Natsu probably would as well because he's a demon. Okay, what the hell am I talking about? Let's get back to Fairy Tail. It's cool seeing that Zerf was actually a friend of Igneal, and he actually s sought out the advice of Igneal to kind of move forward with Natsu, and he kind of entrusted Natsu to Igneal as far as, you know, training him Dragon Slayer magic and all that different stuff. I thought it was really cool, and Zerf, think about what he went through. His brother died, right? And they had to entrust him to essentially, I mean, friends, I guess, but a stranger, right? And then he had to wait 400 years. Um, to see his brother again and Zerf said it 400 years is a long time and a lot of things have changed since then so I've changed and you know right now I'm a mortal you, you probably can't kill me and at the end we see happy that was a touching moment as well with happy diving in there are we not best friends you can't just kill yourself because Natsu doesn't believe it and I think next chapter we're going to see Natsu kind of explain to the to the team or to the guild, what's really going on? Maybe he won't, but I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense for him to let everybody know then Gray probably, you know, gets in his feelings a bit. Or maybe he waits till after the war, but this is something that's super important, especially with Happy Dragon. The way they're gonna be like, what the hell happened? Like, what's going on? But right now, Zerf says, you can no longer defeat me. So maybe Zerf never dies. Maybe he has a change of heart. Maybe he reverts back to his old ways where he turns back into a wanderer. But because of Zerf and how he is, I don't think you can trust someone like that just walking around. Like it's like having a rapist just walking around in a neighborhood filled with children. Okay, I'm really going off the rails here with this discussion. <laughs> it was a very interesting chapter though, especially with all the reveals, the revelations, and you know, right now, I'm really enjoying Fairy Tale. I mean, even with the last week, a lot of people assumed Zerf was dead. I think I did as well. Maybe, no, 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 I didn't assume he was dead. I just thought that it was no way Nazi should have beaten him. But you know, with the Blaze Dragon King mode and stuff like that, I guess you can see how that ties in. So, great stuff. Let me know what you thought about the chapter. Do you think that Zerf is gonna die? Do you think Nazi's gonna die? Because I don't see that. 
at all. But yeah, let me know what you thought about the chapter. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That'd be dope. Have a good day, people.